Oh, hey, Elder Dragon, Mizzou, and hey, Yugi Boy 85 How are you both doing? Oh, crap, did I forget to link the, uh, oh yeah, I need to, okay, there we go, that's what I wanted. <clears throat> so, how are you both doing? How How's your weekend been? I was just making sure I had the wink there to the wad. Why am I a hype conductor? Well, you would have been the person who, that's given out to the person who starts the, um, the, the previous sub train. You know, it's whoever basically gives the sub that kicks it off. So in your case, that would be yourself. You would have been the last person to sub and that would have started the hype train when it happened early in the week and thus, there you go. You get a nice little train badge. <coughs> So that's how that works. Too much raid for your taste. Uh, I see. So, it is time to finally get on with... Anytime, OBS. Anytime. Thank you. There we go. It is finally time to get on with the request lists. Excuse me. I did something stupid this afternoon. I walked out of Doomworld on your PC. Oh, no. No, oh, Yugi boy, I would. I never walk out of Doom World, especially as of weight, since it's getting real slow to walk to do anything on there, which is a bit of a pain. But at least it's still up, thankfully. Excuse me, I think my T's gone down the wrong way, perhaps. Um, oh, you can't log in anymore. Oh, that's a shame. I'm sure you'll be able to log in eventually. Just go. Be uh, patient, but yeah, I'm aware that Doom World has been having a lot of problems in the last few weeks. Uh, it's been very slow, sometimes getting an error. Somebody is really uh, trying to, is being a bit of an asshole, it would seem. Hopefully, it gets resolved sooner rather than later. Um, I, I have no idea. I don't really keep touch on stuff like that. Busy with my own stuff. Um, <clears throat> but. There have been discussions about it on the Hellforge. Hey, Lord Misfit. Dropping a quick host before I head back out. Good work on this one. All right, thanks, Misfit. I know you weren't too keen to see this one, so have fun. I guess you'll be watching the Super Bowl tonight, Lord Misfit, since it will be on at a reasonable time for you. Man, it's been a whole year already. I mean, last year, <laughs> I watched the Super Bowl for the first time. I stayed up to watch it because I had all the time in the world back then. And it was a decent uh, game, actually, between the Chiefs and the uh, 49ers. I would have liked to have watched this one, too, I think. It would have been interesting between Mahomes and Brady, but alas, I have a job. Maybe I'll catch the highlights if the game's any good. Um, <clears throat> hey, Tourniquet, how you doing? Wing disabled the logging in option. Oh, right, okay. So, I'm definitely not logging out. Yeah, it makes me glad that I um, uh, recently enabled two-factor off on Doomworld, so I won't have any issues in that regard. Yeah, I believe Winger is not sure what to do. I don't know if he even owns the entire thing. Didn't I to know Super Bowl until you told me that? Really? I'm surprised it's not plastered on every television station and radio. The Super Bowl is coming. You know, it, it, it's been mentioned on, like, BBC Sport forever. You know, it, it didn't used to be, but in the last few years, like, I think more people have got into it. So, you know. It's a bit more of a thing over here now, especially now that we have games at Wembley every so often. Or we did. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> Fair enough. He doesn't know what to do to all the unsuspecting being fair responsibility buying the servers and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah, I know, but, you know, I mean, if we didn't have Doom World, we'd have to find somewhere else to post. You know? No one cares about the Super Bowl in Germany, not as far as you know. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, mainly, uh, it's mainly football here in the UK, but we do have a bit more focus on the NFL and you know I, I watched it last year and it was alright it's 
it's very stop starty though. The uh, American football is like very stop starty, as it is. But yeah, it'd be kind of a shame if Doom World was taken offline and just you know we'd have nowhere to really go. I'm not aware of there being many other Doom forum communities that are as wide reaching. You know, what would happen to the Iron Man League? <laughs> For one thing, we'd have to find another place to go. Or maybe they can find the person doing this and ask them politely what, uh, what, what, why. But anyway, I digress. <clears throat> Sorry. So, it's on to the request. Excuse me. Sorry. Um, so, it's on to the request list, finally. And um, starting off with a doozy of a request. Finally crafted fetish film as requested by three different people. Tourniquet, Derek, and The Mused. So this was the one that got three requests. In the previous list, I had only two wads that got two. I'm spoiled with this one. Someone, three people wanted this. Anyway, in recent years, some YouTubers could have some food plan was mugging people with budget ads and whatnot, someone to get the job and show him. Oh, oh, it's hilarious. Oh, hilarious. We f it's a Darwin Award material right there, Yugi boy. Oh, if I, pretend to, if I pretend to mug people with fake knives, I wonder what will happen if someone actually takes it seriously and shoots me. Oh, no. I can't believe that they didn't realize it was a prank, bro, and now I'm dead. <clears throat> so what is finally crafted fetish film? Exactly. Hey, Volt, how's it going? Fake knife. Well, oh well, that makes it all the more stupid. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, oh, oh gee, uh, uh, let's harass people in a country that legalizes guns and has people shoot each other all the time. What a smart idea. Grade A material. Especially since we're in a time of COVID and we're supposed to be staying inside and not pulling pranks on people. <clears throat> Anyway, finally crafted fetish film. I have, to, I have to remember to call it that, not finally crafted film fetish, like I did the other day. So finally crafted fetish film is a set of seven boom compatible maps for Doom 2 with a focus on puzzles and unusual layouts, according to this text file. Uh, the maps themselves feature a mixture of puzzle and combat elements, block pushing, switch elevator setups, monster manipulation, platforming, and some normal sort of fights here and there. So this is a Ribix map set. You might remember Ribix. He made a lot, he's made all of the color coordinated slaughter wads in the last few years. Swim with the whales, crumpets, start date 2086 and 2087. And a little thing called Sunwas with Danny Bubinger. Is family crafted film fetish a fetish of family crafted films or a family crafted fetish for films? Who knows, Dreaming Rain? Who knows? It could be both. Hey, Robert Faros. Doom. And you enjoyed those 30,000 points <laughs> you got the other night? Last night, even? That you've earned. Oh, yeah, and speaking of that, I have a new incentive on my channel point thing. Well, I actually have just the one at the moment. I decided to scrap the others that I had uh, in place yesterday because I wasn't too happy with them. So I've added an extra one. Hydrate. Which basically means I take a drink of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to not gain the habit of drinking it regularly. Like I usually do. But to sort of weave it on the side here and reserve it, unless I might actually need a drink, but I'm going to try to do it only when people okay. And Elder Dragon Brazil immediately spends it, so I will hydrate. Thank you. Oh yeah, by the way, it has a 15 minute cooldown. So no, you cannot spam it. And thank you for the seven viewer hosts, Vortau, and good evening to Vortau's 
and friends, we are just about to start finally crafted fetish film. Yep, yeah, it is good to be hydrated. So it has a 15 minute cooldown, it's a thousand channel points, and there you go. I'm still working the kinks on some new channel point incentives, and I'm probably going to be playing around with a couple more in the next few weeks. You know, I'm... I think I need to have a few of them, but not too many and not stuff that can be spammed too much. So I have to be kind of careful because I really just want to focus on playing the game. But at the same time, people do want that, you know, activity. So I need to balance it very carefully. Cinder has a hydrate for 500 points and damn near needs to wear flippers. Yeah. <clears throat> a lot of people have it. And... I want to make sure that the thing I have to be considered careful is that if I do any new thing, I have to make sure people aren't just going to spam it because yesterday I introduced one for request polls and predictions and David Dering immediately started spamming it, but I removed it. So I have to think of stuff that would be reasonable, like for example, calm down has a purpose because, you know, how I am, but um, others don't so it has to be something that is kind of useful and not obnoxious to implement so i've got all kinds of ideas and you'll see if you know anyway so i need to cut back to this so there are seven maps and it appears that they have different puzzle factors you know partly maps one and six are very well on puzzles uh maps three five and seven are two stars and maps two and four are extremely puzzly apparently yeah, I'm going to be doing that. If it's going to be anything major, it's going to be extremely costly because I'm aware that people have a lot of points reserved. So, so there we go. Hmm. So we have different music as well, and there are some extra notes for this text file. It says here, some optional content in this wad is either one shot only or require speedrunning techniques to access, SR50, glides, etc. Expect to miss secrets in a blind playthrough. Uh, tested in PR boom, lots of flags. Z doom flags, boom strict. Monsters get stuck over drop offs. Right. Yes. It's actually really handy to know. Thank you, Rivix. Because apparently there's going to be some puzzles and weird manipulation required. This is not the typical Rivix experience, in other words. Um, and various textures ripped from Bauhaus, a Hellish Pack, CT4 Tex, and Doom City. And we do have some custom midis, and that's it. That's the whole thing. So, <coughs> excuse me. From what I gather, this is basically a very experimental wad by Rivix that has a lot of puzzles in it with some slaughter. Now, the three people who requested this, two of them wanted to play uh, just map seven on Hainaut 2 Rough, and Bemused wanted to play all of it. And I've decided I'm going to play all of it because it's only seven maps, it's on a lower difficulty. What's the worst that could happen aside from me regretting it an hour later when the puzzles are obnoxious or something? So Turner K put for his reason for requesting this. He said that map 7 is, in his humble opinion, one of the most striking maps Rivix has ever made. It tosses a lot of the standard Doom conventions we are familiar with away and provides such a bizarre slash different experience that everyone should witness at least once. That's what Turnike says anyway. So apparently it's extremely weird. It did seem a bit odd when I played a chunk of it. Anyway, okay, yes, it's only seven maps. And Bemused just said in the private message, which is how he put his plus one to it, just placing a cheeky request for finally crafted film fetish, fetish film for your Doom Wad request list because it's about time you came back to embrace some proper Doom gameplay, he says. So... That is that, and Derek just said plus one, so... Yay! It's been requested by, respectfully, a Sunder Slaughter Map enthusiast, a person who thinks D2Oing Sunwast is a casual and calm thing to do, and Turnike. 
<laughs> I'm in good company for this one, aren't I? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. What am I in for with this? I have no idea. Oh, jeez. So, I'm in for a very bizarre experience, apparently. This is the first pick. I got so many crazy things to do, you know. Hello, Scotty. Hello. Hopefully people don't ruin this with spoilers and such. You may not like all of it, but I'm sure you'll find some parts quite interesting and fresh, cool ideas, etc. Well, Ribix is definitely about cool ideas, so... It's just worth noting that, you know, Doom and puzzles aren't always my best friend. And as far as I'm concerned, only Dolby has ever pulled that off to some degree of success, so I'll be curious to see how Ribix handles it. You don't have 10k points, hopefully there are others who do. Yeah, I, I don't think we're going to get the kind of frustration that comes from Slaughter, at least not until map 6 and 7 anyway. But it's going to be more a case of, where do I go? What do I do? And I may need some help from the, the fan club, you know, because I'm probably going to get lost a few times. Right, with that being said, we are on the correct compatibility. We have tweaked the custom thing. It is time to begin our journey into... The finally crafted fetish film. And see what it's all about. I have no idea. Future CAC Award thing. We will see. This is yesterday's dot 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 avenue. The MIDI here is Gin Cooper by Benjamin Lewis. The puzzle factor is one. Only 121 enemies, he says. <clears throat> right, let's jump right into it. Yes, I know, Dreaming Rain. I was giving people time to show up, to be honest. We have a chessboard. This bodes ominously. Hey, Saipam. How you doing? I don't think I have to play pistol starts, do I? There's eight secrets as well. We have dead. Oh, I like how this candle is giving like a light thing. That's kind of cool. Oh, the monsters are awake now. What can I do? Tell me what I can say. Tells me I'm going to need this. Oh, yay! Revenants. Woohoo! Great start, me. Oh, that's what you were quoting? I didn't know what the song was. I thought you were singing the song that is playing now. Wow, that was really bad. to capture, green to capture. Rivix is a guy who wants your butt on a silver platter. It looks like we have some shenanigans going on in there. Nice Tyson there. 
Yeah, I just have a feeling that for this kind of map set, ammo may be at a premium on occasion. Best to take the, uh... Right, anyway, there was a thing up here. Well, they're dead. Okay. Arm up there. Oh. That did something. Hey, Reaper. Puzzle Factor 1, Revenant Fist Factor 28. Chessboard. <laughs> Gotta say, I like the visual feel to this wad already. I like all this city stuff. How it walks, it's quite uh, distinct. No, this is uh, Gin Huber by Benjamin Lewis, not System of a Down. We have a Baron. Something is telling me not to kill this Baron. I don't know why. It just seems rather weirdly placed like that. Almost like it's there for a reason. See ya. You remember trying this thing, didn't get far. Yeah, I believe it's meant to be quite a different experience, PR. Prr. PR. Like, as in press? Press me! Press me or something. Yeah, it's just a weird position, combined with the fact that this thing has a reputation for puzzles. It makes you think like, oh, maybe we need to do something with the Baron. I have to start thinking like... Less kill everything and more... Puzzles, if you will. I don't think this Hell Knight has that issue though. So I'm gonna kill this Hell Knight. Bye. Do, 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 do. Oh. Oh boy. Look at this city area though, it does look nice. Reminds me a bit, a little bit, of that one Dark Tartarus map. A little bit. Oh. Uh oh. Well, I guess I'm not stuck yet, but... Oh, there's the Kako, just hiding in the... Is this Duke 2 Remastered? No, not quite. This is finely crafted fetish film. I don't 
know if those dashes are meant to be like a blank or something. Two more cackles? Three more cackles? A cyber demon? Oh god. Wait, it's not an ordinary cyber demon. It's got that green tint to the wing for it. Oh wait, there's the arrow key. Oh, and now I'm dead. Oh. I see. It's like a dangerous rooftop rush, I guess. Yeah, I get it. I guess I guess we should be a little quicker getting through this. Oh god. Thank God we're not playing on the highest difficulty. <laughs> Time to leave. Get out of there. Oh God. Yeah, I like the urban feel, definitely. It's pretty nice. Right, well we have the arrow key, now we can proceed. Yeah, bounce against that, you, you bastard. Oh, I was hoping the splash damage would have fucked it over. Nope. There we go. Hmm. Now, is that a full Cyber Demon health, or is it one of those half ones? It's like a, a popular thing in some sort of maps is to have a cyber demon with half its HP. You know. Half health cybers are quite popular now. Okay, so it isn't one of those. That's why one of the trends of Doom custom stuff. You know, we figured, okay, well, the Hell Knight is essentially a weaker Baron, so how can we make a weaker Cyber Demon? Ah, that's how. Well, now we have... I still think these might be used for something. PR. Oh. Oh, wow. Look at all these things changing suddenly. Yeah, very nice lights. Okay. Oh, wow. We got a soul spear again. Oh, God. And we have the... And we have the setup for another messy fight coming up. Brooks, is that V Zero Master in working? Why is Zero Master here? Could be Neox. Zero Master does come to this stream a few times when he's not busy breaking records. I'm gonna risk my health to grab this. Oh. Oh wow! Inconsistent paid sector damage. Nice job, Rubix. Because I'm pretty sure it was killing me before when I was in the sky and the, the rooftop scramble. 
but now it's just a-okay, right? Maybe as a thing. Mancubus to Hell Knight, Queen's Hell Knight 3. Yeah, apparently some chess game is going to be involved at some point. Uh, I also, these fucking Mancubus, I swear every single one of them required at least four rockets. It's ridiculous. I hate it when, like, you gotta... Okay. What, 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 whoa, what? What the? Oh, maybe I should have stayed on that thing. I didn't realize there was a significant reason to stay on it. Looks like it. Something tells me I uh, I don't want to be standing on top of it when it does. Yeah, I'm gonna. Oh, it's finished. Right. Okay. That was interesting. Yes. Yeah, I'm guessing it, it would have, since we're on Boom Street, that would have terrified me if it had been connected. Oh, okay. Well, then I would have just denied myself. Well, at least I know where the health kits are if I need them. Now, where was that armor? Was there some spur armor around somewhere? Still got over here that we can't access. Oh, there we go. That wasn't the only door, though, was it? I could have sworn there was another one. Somewhere. Here, maybe? Oh, yeah, just gonna give a shout-out to this follower, by the way, who followed me 20 hours ago. Thanks to the follow, Combine Bob NT. Much appreciated. Hmm. Okay. We'll come back to that in a minute, but it looks like we've unlocked the whatever that is. How many more followers for Sunder? Um, 114. We're at 1,886 at the moment. We need 114 more for the 2K. So, quite a bit off yet. Hi, guys. Ow. You bastards. Hey, Spaz. We got a map. I have a feeling that map's going to be useful. Oh, gee, I wonder why I have all these follows suddenly. Guess I'd better be suspicious as fuck about it. Let's not have follow bots. The, I'll, if, if my luck holds out, I'll probably hit 2,000 follows at some point this year anyway. I was be told there'd be no math. Oh, what? Oh no. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Oh, that's a suspicious name. Can't imagine why I've suddenly gained all these followers suddenly. <laughs> I Rev.
Hi guys. Well, there's the exit. But we can't get to it. Not yet. No, we're gonna have to do something. Alright, we have some candles on a chessboard. Oh. I need a red key to activate the sub. Red and blue keys? What? Red and blue keys, huh? Right. We have green candles and other. We've also killed, um. It's a chessboard with numbers on it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1 to 32 on a chessboard? Is it chess or drafts? No. Uh, I just noticed that all the things are actually on white pieces. So this is not chess, is it? This is drafts or checkers. I think. Because if it was a chess, I mean, it looks, I mean, it's got the, it is a chess board, I guess, but drafts works. <laughs> Chris wouldn't be able to play chess with those candles. No, he wouldn't. Still don't need to really kill you, I don't think, do we? Oh, God. All right. Um, do these teleports work at all? No, nope, they do not. Alright, well, it looks like we only have two areas to go to. We have the chessboard area that we can't do anything with, and we have this thing around here that leads to a switch that does something. White to capture, green to capture. White to capture, green to... Reset. Okay then. Submit move. 7, 15, 23, 31, 6, 14, 22, 30. And there's an X in the middle for some reason. What? Sub submit. Move. Wait. Seem to do anything. Hey, Ward Entropy, how you doing? Does that mean these switches apply to very specific areas? Only the ones that labeled 7, 15, 23, 31, 6, 14, 22, 30. Oh, God. Is Rivix really asking us to play fucking drafts or checkers in a Doom map just to get a key? Oh god. And I thought Minesweeper in that one map from ages ago was quite impressive. Rivix has just gone and created checkers. But only with eight select moves apparently available. As I say this, however... Oh, no. Oh, God. No. There's two rooms of this. Two rooms. So I'm going to guess that the next two keys have to be solved with checker puzzles? I, I don't even get what I'm supposed to actually do. Am I supposed to, like... White to capture... Green to capture. Hmm. 
Hello, Dave. Stop asking us to solve the bloody puzzle. I don't, I'm not quite sure what exactly I'm meant to do here. Well, I mean, I know there's this board over here. So clearly we're supposed to make a selection of moves or something, right? Hold on, was there a, um... I just know there is something. There's an area over here I didn't check out. I think. Oh, never mind. It's high up. White to capture, green to capture. Right. I don't think we can do that for this kind of puzzle. For some puzzles, that would absolutely be a good idea, Dave, but I, I think this one is actually going to require us to do something a bit more uh, complicated. You must make a movement to kill a green piece. Right. So the idea is essentially to play checkers in Doom. Okay, so we have to label the note where all the pieces are, which means I have to... That means I'm gonna have to fucking make like a drawing with all the pieces down on. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna have to do a drawing then. Right. Hello, Foreshock. How are you doing? Rush back to playing Mist. Right, so, uh, well, if we consider the fact that it's only the white pieces that matter, you can use the map to make it fast. So, oh yeah, I can just do this, can I? Like, I could just pause it. Oh, maybe not. I have to keep doing that. Right, so it's one to four across different things. So we have, oh jeez, we have a grid of, I'm going to be honest, I'm trying to think Excel might be better than this just so I don't have to create the grid. Bear with me, let me, no, I want a new document in Excel, not my thing. Yes, thank you, close that, right. Okay, so we have white on two, green on four, so we have white there, green there. I'm just gonna do a four by four board because essentially the black pieces don't matter for this game. Then we have green on five. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Green on nine and 11. Then the next row we have green on 16 and then we have green on 18 white on 20 21 and 23 have white 24 and 25 have white and two more in the corners for the next two pieces uh yeah maybe that's a queen that's a good point if we're playing if this board is set up this way Soon it will have to be. Then the idea is to make a series of moves that take green pieces, I guess. Hey, Deepop, thanks for the raid. We have just made it to the first puzzle of family crafted fetish film. Uh, we're just sort of going through it now. Right, so now we've labeled all the pieces on the board. We can simply just... I think we got that right, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's correct. So, essentially, so just still into a 4x4 four four grid since we're playing checkers and not chess, so we don't have to worry about any of the black ones. It's just a visual confusion. Right, I've labeled all of them down. So, that's what matters. So, obviously, we'd have there's two and four on that. That one's got five. This one is nine and ten for the pieces. 
that one is um, 16, then we have 18 and 20, then we have 21, 23, 25, 26, 28, and 29. Those are all the current positions of the pieces at the moment. If I've got this correct. Oh, wait a minute. Is it? Wait, that can't be right. What? Oh, crap. I've missed some calculation here, haven't I? Oh, I know what I've made the mistake with. There's... Oh no, every every uh, every row has at least one thing on it, doesn't it? I just I just fucked up the math slightly. Yeah, sorry, one to four, five to five to eight, nine to twelve. Nine to twelve. What the hell? Six and eight, what the fuck have I done wrong here? No, that's not right. The last ones are... So, no, actually, the last ones are not 29 and 28. They're f 29 and 30. Oh, I think that's where I made my mistake. Just the last one. I think everything else is correct. 2 and 4, 5, 9, 10. Wait, it's not 9 and 10. What the fuck am I doing? It's 9 and 11. You idiot. That's why I fucked up. <laughs> I, I made a miscalculation in the maths. So you got 9, 11, 12, 16, 18, 20, 21, 23, 25, 26. How does that wait? That can't be right either. Can it? No. No, 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 no. That, that, that's wrong. Oh wait, no it isn't. No, it is right. Right, okay, I think I've got them now. So we have 2, 4, 5, 9, 11, 16, 18, 20, 21, 23, 25, 26, 29, and 30. That's where all the pieces are, are located. So you've got the white one on two, the first green on four, I'm just gonna use mouse work. And then you have a green on five, six, seven, eight. Green on nine, green on 11. Next green is on 16, then a green on 18, white on 20. Then you got white on 21, white on 23, white on 25, white on 26, white on 29, white on 30. Right, that's all the positions. Now we have to figure out how to move them on a board, I guess. Or whatever. I, I've got it on an Excel document, so we're fine. Having fun. Ah. The thing is, though, we can only move certain things. It's not like we have the whole board. So we have the options of 7, 15, 23, 31, 30, 16, 14, 22, and 30. So we have to capture the green pieces with the white pieces. So we have... Oh god, I'm gonna have to put this on a different screen so I can actually... see both things at the same time, otherwise I'm gonna be very confused. Actually no, I just have to put it over here. Okay. Right. Let's see. So, 7, 15, 33, 30, okay, 7, 6. Right, the correspondent number. So, but hang on, it's just one move, right? So I can't do them all at the same time anyway. So I guess we make a move and then... Ugh. And then what? A move will be made by the green person? The the 
AI will take a turn and then I make the next move and we play until I win? Something like that? So looking at the board at the moment, it appears that... Yeah, there's a white on 20 is near to the one on green. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to be actually... I, 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 it seems like we have to capture the green pieces. I mean, essentially the solution seems to be playing checkers, but you're doing it in Doom instead of like in a checkers program. So this is very strange. Um, so most of the white pieces at the back aren't really doing anything. They're sort of just in the back. Oh, now that I think about it, it really is kind of awkward not having the diagonals visible on the fucking grid. Oh, God. I mean, Excel is useful, but it doesn't actually give me a... Well, it actually kind of probably does, I think. Because, of course, it could be diagonally opposite. Yes, it's like checkers, exactly. I think Excel has confused me because... Oh, uh, no, this isn't going to work out this way because... I need to be able to see the diagonals as well. I can't just put them on a 4x4 four four grid, so then I can't... I, the diagonals will confuse me. So I have to get the whole grid, essentially. Otherwise, I'll be very confused, possibly forever. So I'm going to have to recreate the grid accurately. So I, I know exactly where every piece is, I guess. No, it's just so it's just so I don't have to draw a I mean I could just draw a grid, I guess. That could work. But Excel provides a natural grid. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to create a much smaller thing. Give me a second. Here, move all these over a little bit. So that we have room for an accurate four by four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. So then I have to compare it to that. So in reality, so let's just start this over again until we have the uh, pieces in the correct positions as they are in the game. So the first white is on the fourth bit there. Then there's a green on the far end like that. Then on the second row there's just one green on its own. Then the third row you have a green on the second and a green on the sixth. And then on the next row after that you have one green on the furthest side. And then on the fifth row, you have a green on four and a white on five. An eight, sorry. Then the third row, and the third to bottom row, you have one and five. And then you have two and two, and then two and two. Right. Now, ignoring the fact that only white pieces can move, what we need to do is then actually create uh, filler shapes for the useless pieces. So bear with me as I actually fucking recreate the board in fucking Excel. <laughs> Using a bit of control and paste, we can then just fill in some blank ones with black, and suddenly we have ourselves a replica board. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to playing checkers. Fuck Doom, we can play checkers now. I'm gonna save this. This is ridiculous. I have to actually save this as a thing. This is insane. I'm gonna save this for posterity. We'll call this SCFF. Whatever. Right. Okay, now I can see the whole. Oh, it would probably help if I could see the things. Right, now I can see the whole board and it's laid out correctly as it is in the game without having to go back to this spot again. Cool. 
So we go back to this spot. White to capture, green to capture. Right. <sighs> Are you sure there was an expansion campaign that Misfit has his whole Thievius weave? Uh, yes, Dave, I've only got 10 missions left to do. We managed to get up to El Cid. Well, you were there for part of it last night. We're up to El Cid 3. Um, so we're near the end of that. Right. So, mm, checkers eternal. Hell on checkers. Right, so our moves are limited to 7, 15, 23, 31, 6, 14, 22, and 30. And our aim is to capture green pieces. Okay, so white on 20 cannot actually do anything. Not that that's an option anyway. Really. The white at the back would not be able to do anything immediately. But assuming that the white on 2 is a queen, it could move to step 6, which is an option. So we have option of 6 if we want to move the white queen. Assuming that the player doesn't then move the green piece away from that. Well, I don't want to know the solution. But the solution is 23, then 14. I wasn't asking for a solution. Unless you figured it out yourself. Okay. Ah, right. The white on 23 can actually take a piece. The problem is it will then be captured in return. I suppose. Oh, you're just guessing. Okay, fair enough. I thought you were just outright telling me the solution. That's fine. If, you, if you're playing along as well, that's not a problem. Um, 23 is a move, but then it would get captured, and then we'd just be... I don't know if that is what we're supposed to do, but it's the only one that can actually take something at the moment. Uh, 14 is not available anyway because it's... There's no piece for it to move to 40. Oh, okay. Okay. So is the answer simply just to figure out what is the actual move? And not to win the game. Just what is the available move option? Well, I guess so, yeah. I mean, 7 is not... Seven's possible. The queen can move to 7 or 6, but that's going... Uh, that's the queen piece. It could do either of those things, but it wouldn't capture anything. I don't think Misfit would know the solution, Tourniquet. <laughs> no open used. Expand your mind. You're the one who wanted all of this. <laughs> if not for you, we'd just be on map seven. <laughs> not that I mind, this is actually rather interesting to see done in the Doom game, honestly. It's like that time in Community Chest would have... Oh, was it Community Chest? No, it was something else. It was a Minesweeper replica, which was pretty sweet, actually. I like that. So six and seven are options, but all that does is just move the queen to one or two spots. Fifteen and fourteen are not available because there's no white piece there. Twenty-three and twenty-two... Uh, well, twenty-three has a piece on it already is the thing. So 23 would do nothing. 22 would move one white piece up, which would then be captured, but would, could then be captured back in return. Oh, okay. So it's not, oh, right. So it's, you have to do a move. It's not just press the thing for it to program it. You have to program the entire move. So it would have to be 23x where you want it to go. Right, okay, yeah. That's why the x is there. It's the top half is one move and the, oh, right. So I think you might be right then because the only move that is available to take a green piece is 23 to 14. Because 31 can't take a piece because there's no piece there. 23 has a piece on it already. 15 doesn't have a piece on it. 7 doesn't have a piece on it. So if you're right, yeah, it's 23 and 14. It's the only move that we can actually do at this point. So 
23. 14. Submit. Hey, there we go. We did it. Solved the puzzle. We finally figured it out. Uh oh. Oh, I see. Now it's green has to capture something, right? Yeah, there was a second one. We knew that. I like expanding what Doom maps can be. I know we can simplistic elaborate and mean a complex center theme park maps, but not like this! Yeah, we gotta do green now, folks. Now, hold on a second. I just realized something. Since we have made a move, does that change the board? Will we actually have some moved pieces now? Well, let's consult the board, shall we, and see what happened. Wait, the pieces don't appear to have moved. Yeah, there's the 23 to 14, and it's... Nothing has changed. Yeah, all the pieces are where they were before. Oh, okay. So it's just a simple case of make the moves you can make. So it's not like the, it moves the checkered piece. No, you select the the move you can do. F you select the top row first, then the bottom. It's essentially saying like what move is available. So in this case, green captures white. So one doesn't have a piece on it. Nine has a piece on it, but can't capture anything. Seventeen has no piece on it. Twenty-five has no piece on it. What? But it can't be 9 to 18, because it doesn't reach. But it didn't update on the board, did it? So you're saying that this actually... Oh, I see. So it doesn't show it visually, but now you are... Well, you might be right, yeah. It's the only one that... I mean, assuming that the top row is constant, then that's the only move that could be made anyway, because 9 is the only one that has a piece on it. So... 9 to 18, assuming that the board updates, right? Yeah, okay. That seems to be it. All right. Did a thing, somewhere. Let's <laughs> see if it dumped me in lava. Hey, super shotgun. Cool, we did it. Right, is that the end of having to use Excel? Ah, nuts. Did we fuck that up? Wait, no, we didn't fuck that up. I think. Hold that for an SSG. Hey, don't get me wrong, I'm happy to have the SSG. Is it a bad time to say that whole puzzle section was optional? Optional? You're kidding me! I didn't have to do any of that? I mean, the SSG is worth it, of course. Oh my god, okay, yes, yeah, save that. I'm gonna keep that for posterity, right. I thought that was gonna be like how we got one of the next keys. 
Yeah, very cool puzzle, actually. Do like. You don't often see puzzles in Doom done very well. If the mod's gonna, if it, if this map set's gonna have a few more stumpers like that, we might be onto something. Hey, Francis. Optional, but you get an SSG, which is totally worth it. Well, now we gotta figure out where we do need to go. That's kind of the only snag where I don't actually know where to... So what's the deal with these guys then? Hmm. Well, I don't think that was a great idea. No, that was not a smart idea. Hey, Wushu. I think to be fair, it's also because the hard balls to figure out. It's honestly not that hard to actually once you once you know it's just it, it's a puzzle that's tricky because you don't know what to do and you don't know you don't expect that kind of puzzle in Doom like ever. So once you know what to do, it's essentially just okay, note the position of the board and make the moves that can be made. But kind of cool that the second part of that is to make a move that is um, uh, you know that has been made ahead of time and I fell off god damn it something I can actually watch about a spoiler what's next remembering sector numbers maybe Something tells you just not to kill these guys for some reason. Oh god. Is there something about the weird positioning that makes me think, yeah, we kinda don't want to kill them really. Don't know why. Wah! I'm not. Are you allowed to insert a shameless self promotion? Access, access, access. Alright. Ooh. Sure, okay, Francis. You want. No, something is off with this. Hmm. Think out of the box. Yeah, there is a wasp sieve too. It's still not finished yet. But it has been requested by Jaska, and I will also be playing the first Wasp Civilization as well. I will be, um... With a few of the requests, I will be playing stuff alongside it. So, with Wasp Civ, I'm going to play the first one as well, because I kind of want to do that anyway. With the Return to Hadron Episode 3, I'll be playing the other two episodes as well, because there's a trilogy of them, and I might as well play the whole trilogy. And, uh, fuck, what was the other one? There was, I know there was another one that I was also going to play, um, oh yeah, Thousand Wines 2. I'll also be playing the first Thousand Wines. Because I think I might as well do, because A Thousand Lines is meant to be a good two wards. The Rust Civilization is supposed to be good. Return to Hadron Trilogy is all Cackle Ward winning. Um, 
I think I know what we need to do here. I think. I'm guessing we have to crush the mancubuses under this particular stretch. doesn't crush him. Oh, wow, that's... Wow, that's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> wow, okay, very interesting puzzle there. Fucking... Ugh. Oh, God, the hitbox is so fucking weird. Ugh, ugh. Oh, wow, that was a pretty nice puzzle. Right. Alright, we have the red key. Guess we'll move on. Yay. Sweet. I guess that's why we needed that specific thing set. Whatever. Hi, Cyber Demon. Cyber Demon, please. Ugh. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, we beat the checker puzzle already. Thousand Mind Map 116. Good work. Alright, thanks for the self promotional green. Hey. Ow, god damn it. Let me just. Go oh, away, you stupid imp. You have a Discord server? Yeah, I'm part of your Discord server. So yes, if you want to join Francis's Discord server, feel free to do so. The Arsters. Yeah, I just want to cover them. Right, red key, red key, red key, red key, red key, red key, red key was... It's actually over this way, wasn't it? Yeah. Here we go. Huh? Ah! Oh no! We're stuck down here. Oh. Oh, wait, there we go. We are good detectives today. Soon we are. Right. I don't know what... I'm guessing the blue key is like a secret thing. I think we can shoot that switch, can we? No, we're not we're not we're not at the height where we can shoot this switch, are we? Never mind, we are. Okay. I stand corrected. We did it. And that's the first level. <laughs> Attacking elf south or west east in PR boom should increase your chance of hitting. Ugh. Yeah, GG. <laughs> We're going like coincidente style now. Save! <laughs>
Next time, beat the par. There's no way you can beat the par on that level. The par times aren't set for the map. That was certainly an interesting introduction to this ward. Makes me kind of glad I decided to go for the whole thing now. Very uh, interesting. We got this really creepy little, well, music and picture as well. You should hydrate. Oh, have I been drinking while I sh Fuck, I'm not supposed to do that as much. Sorry, everyone. I'm not supposed to hydrate without the incentive. But old habits die hard, I guess. Can always get more water, I suppose. This picture will haunt you in the final... Yeah, I have a feeling this has something to do with map 7. Just based off what I've said of map 7. The early... When I did the... Uh, Stream last week. Map 7 with its weird theme. It looks like a smiley face, doesn't it? There's one thing that Rivix is good at. It's making very artsy maps with a nice color theme. Guess we'll find out what the deal with that is later. Alright, this is Smelling Faintly of Roses. Only 17 enemies, one secret. And the MIDI for this one is Come to My Circle, Chi Chi Bruin, by... Oh, God. Okay, you might want an ear warning because this is a Zan Zan Zawavea MIDI. The last time I heard one of their MIDIs, it was a bit... of a thing. And the puzzle factor is free. So, we've just been through a wonder puzzle factor. This map is full puzzle. So... Yeah, I believe Zan Zan Zywev, that person does make some good stuff in general. But it is uh, quirky. They're as quirky a MIDI person as they are a mapper, shall we say. Yeah, according to the puzzle quantification experts. So, having only 17 enemies, it seems that fighting isn't really going to be a, a deal with this one. It's going to be more about the puzzle. Yeah, uh, having having gone through every map of this for the uh, compilation on Monday, only two maps in this have a reasonably high monster count, six and seven. There's a lot of maps that only have like a few enemies or a hundred. On Hey Not Too Rough difficulty, which is what we're playing this on. We're not playing on Ultra Violence. I won't do that with a Ribix map set anyway. You need a red key for this object. I have to say, he's. I'm used to Ribix making really colorful map sets, and it's kind of cool to see that we're doing this with gray and white for a change. Oh. Oh boy, we have runes. And there's the exit with three. No, we're not doing an ultra violence. I, I, I think the difficulty doesn't change the puzzles. It'll just be for the fights. And apparently it removes the... Uh, it says apparently that uh, playing on a world difficulty changes some on map seven. Oh boy. Right. It would appear. Doesn't do anything. Oh boy. Oh god. This m Nah, people requested it on the... The two people that requested Map 7 suggested it on Hey Not Too Rough difficulty. And I'm fine with that. Watch what three are at a higher height. Ah, we can't go to the exit because... 
they're all the same. I assume we have to do something else for that. So for this one, it's Squiggly Wine, Tai, and Shuken. GT, GTX. I guess we can go for. Oh, one doesn't have a dot on it. Wait. Yeah, I... GTX. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out. Right, okay, so it's that one. So how does this work then? Is it like you only select three of them or something? At the moment, uh, it's showing... Okay... Oh, I see. These move it in the direction forward or back or whatever. Right? What? It would appear so. Hmm. Okay. So it appears that we can move around this 3x3 three three grid. So I guess we have to move it around in a way that corresponds to the combination. So we would need the G's already up, we need to find Tai, and we need to find the cross. 
Ty is there and Cross is on the other shape. What happens if I move it towards the tie, like just as is now, though? So we move it across. What does that do? Right. Hmm. How do we get the other two to stay where they are? Do we have to like... Yeah, it can like double up on top of one. I guess. But then I need it to go over to the cross. So to do that, I'd have to move it there, and then move it there. Right. Okay, I think we have to do this in an order as well, because we managed to keep that one down, but this one is not budging. So I guess we're doing this in an order. So we should be doing this one, which is GTL. So then all we have to do is just go on to tie and we solve the first one, I think. Which is... There. It seems like some of these aren't going to move and others are going to be manipulatable. Yeah, so you've got wine, you've got the GTI, this should open up. There we go. And I guess that the puzzle will reset and then allow us to go through the second door with later on and then there'll be a third one and okay, wow. Fifteen. Well, this is Rubik's. Uh, Soul Spear is clue that something is coming. At least we have a lot of stuff. Oh, oh, what? Oh no! It's another one. Now it's building Ty X. Oh, but wait a minute. How can we do that if we... Do you suppose we have to wait? Hmm. Okay. Building tight. So Ty's already in the correct position. separate we have a control panel for each of them oh wow that's ridiculously good um right so we can we have to manipulate the one that we can move and we have to 
Well, we can't do fuck all without one of them, can we? I think. Ah, right, okay. So... Since we can only manipulate the two in the middle... So now we can do G tie X, can't we? So really all we have to do is just move this one up into the right. Oh, you are fucking kidding me! Damn it, Remix! Oh, you are kidding me. Oh, no way. Oh, God, we can't access either side. So we're going to have to unlock this first just to get the switches to make the second one. So we have to do this begin. Oh, you bastard, Lyrix. Right, so it's building tie X then. Which one can we manipulate? We can only move it up and down, so... Okay, I think we, we, we can only use part of this one for the up and down bit. Now, I suspect that because we're going to move this up and down, this one goes into the tie slot for now. Because that's the only one that can... So that goes on tie. Ah, shit, though. But the only problem is building. This one can't be manipulated, though. So it has to be part of the... It, it, wait, but it has to be. It, 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 we, we can't unlock that because we need to move this third one, and we can't yet. So we're going to have to do the other puzzle without being able to access switches on this side, I think. Because we cannot do the other one. Oh, wait, well, that's easy. We just do the other one back into the right. It's actually not that hard. So we just do this. Yeah, do that. Yeah, GTX. Done. Okay, wow. Puzzles and Doom, going together well. Cats and dogs. What is this? Oh god, no. Why, why platforming? No, don't make me do platforming. Oh, it's really easy. I think. Oh, it's getting thinner. Uh, oh. Yay, another one. Oh no, it's got more puzzles. And we also have a... Ah, but now we have control of the third piece, at least. Hey, Austin Hill, thanks for the raids. Welcome to finally crafted fil fetish film. We are currently figuring out some more puzzles. Right. So we have to unlock it on both sides. Well, this is the third and final one. So we've got thingy, thingy, and X. Building and thing as an option. On the other side, we have... Yeah, that's seriously the title. Here it is, Family Crafted Fetish Film. Definitely the ba definitely the title, Terminal. Right, so using the restricted options of being able to move two of the blocks up or down, and the third one wherever, we have to now unlock three different things, I guess. Yeah, this is on Hangout Too Rough. Not yet. It's more about the puzzles. It's not... I mean, there are some sorts of stuff that's going to happen later, but... 
It's got a lot of puzzles in it. Right, so we got F building X. Oh, well, that shouldn't be too hard to put together, right? Oh wait, no, actually it will, because we can only manipulate two of these on the vertical. <sighs> yeah, we can't. We can only manipulate this one and this one on these, so any combination has to essentially allow for that. So we've got jar x snake with a dart. Jar x snake with a dart. Can we do jar x snake with a dart? There's jar... There's X with a dot, and no, we can't. I don't think. However, could we perhaps do this one now? We have access to the third, which is building tie X. Because we have to do these in an order. We can't just do whatever we want. Building tie X, let's see. Building. Oh yeah, yeah, we can. We just gotta move this one. And then we have that one. So, bunk. Go all the way back to the other side. To unlock the second one to freely move. There we go. Now we have full control over the second of the three. So with that in mind, we now need to consider which ones can we do with full access to two out of three? So we've got building, 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 and key. Which of those two can we do first? Actually, we should better do both of them, shouldn't we? Building, building, and thing. Yeah, all we have to do is put the other two on. So this is key, building, shogun. Key building shogun. So we move it down one and stick the other two. On building and shogun. One of them's already on shogun, so that's just up left. There was two different solutions for it. Oh no, hold on, no, there's a wall here. Hmm. Interesting. We can do both the exit and this wall. Maybe we should do the wall. I mean, the exit's over that way, but maybe there's an optional thing we can get. So this one's Jar Shuruken. Same with the dots. Josh, we can sneak with a dot. So the one that's on key at the moment, we put up two places. Wait, uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, only 17 enemies. But again, this is not about the combat. It's about the puzzles. Puzzles and Doom are very hard to do well together. This seems to be a case of trying to do it just right. Why, wow, it's on this 10 times faster than I did. And it's snake with a dot. Snake, snake with a dot. Uh, so that's down there. But which one have I, I think it's the first one I have on. Do we have first one on cross? Yeah, that one's on cross. So it's this one then, isn't it, I think, that we have to move. Yeah. Hmm. 
seems to be a small delay on pressing those switches. So I guess that is to line up the, the the trickery required to create this puzzle. And our reward is we get to kill some stuff. The word where your reward for beating puzzles is to do some fighting. Also be yeah, LOK, okay, I guess. Only one enemy left. Are we on Doom City now? Maybe. Yeah, this does have some sprites for Doom City. Does Twitch have any support for pre-recorded streams? What do you mean by that? Like, uploading VODs and stuff? Alright, well, uh... All we have to do now is put them all in the middle for the final bit. Because it's freeze dots. Very cool puzzle. I have to say. So it appears that there are two people in the Doom community that can do puzzles correctly. Dobu and Ribix. Oh. I guess we take that soul sphere before we go. There's one secret on this map. But since you said most of the secrets require speedrun tricks, and I am not a speedrunner, then I'm going to save my time. And that's map two. Yeah, this is definitely interesting. Oh, right. No, I don't think it does have that kind of support, Francis. But to be honest with you, if you wanted to do that, you could just record your video and then just press play and stream the video if you wanted to do it that way. Faster than me. Good job, sweet. Yeah, I mean... I think it's helped the fact that I didn't go into this completely blind in expectation. If I had just been told, oh, this is a Rubix Ward, seven maps, I'd have been like, what? But because I've been told and heard a bit about this, it's like, it's a guy's reputation. I'm, I'm kind of in the mind frame of expecting to solve puzzles, which I think helps. I think that's probably why the reason why I don't like some puzzles in Doom, aside from the fact that most puzzles in Doom are basically switch hunts or Awkward puzzles were the main problem is trying to figure out what the fuck they intended. But it seems that, like, with... When you set out to create a map specifically to be a puzzle map, you can do some good stuff in the Doom engine. I guess. Call me impressed so far. Don't look back. 161 enemies, and the MIDI here is Clouds by Sambi Katano. And the puzzle rating is 2 for this one. Don't look back. Oh, I looked back. Oh no. Okay then. We can go up. Oh. Awkward. Can't go. 
Ah, jeez. That's an awkward run to have to make. I can't make this bloody run. Huh? What the? Heck. Oh, what? I'm confused here. Oh, there we go. Okay. Made out of that. You appreciate the effort put into this word. However, it's definitely not for me. Yeah, I normally don't bother with... I'm not normally a fan of puddles in Doom either, but these seem to be well-crafted, honestly, thus far. It's not like it's puzzles where you can't figure it out. It's puzzles... Uh... Okay. You could say they're finely crafted. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. Yes, you could, I suppose. I think you went into some plutonia mode by mistake because FCFF is white. And I think it's just changed up the uh, visuals for a map. Oh, I will say inconsistent use of that as a pain sector mine. Big minus. I just assume that it's mostly dangerous, but it wasn't in that one room. Wait, this is also dangerous? Yeah, that's dangerous. Uh. All right. Oh, this green, voidy stuff is also... Is watching the big game today. Please don't have parties. Oh, is this the, is this the Francis P, uh, public service announcement? Please don't go and celebrate. Well, I, I'll be in bed, Francis. I have work in the morning. I can't watch the Super Bowl this year. I watched it last year. Unless the, unless the beast from the east decides to fucking show up in the next few hours and completely snow off my entire house and earlier, I'm going to work tomorrow morning. So, yeah. Nah, it's cool. I, I don't really want the horrible weather because the only problem is... If it's gonna snow and ice, it either has to be burly anything, or so much so I get a day off work. Anything else in between is just annoying and not cool. And I, I, I can be doing without it. So we have to drop down here. Yeah, 
there's an armor platform, but uh, oh, it's also this, I guess. I'd rather watch this game. Hey, Salmiza. DJ. Okay. I guess we have to grab that. Don't appreciate that, Ribix. I don't appreciate it. No, no. Yeah, just in case you forgot, this is a Vivix map set. I am going to occasionally try to throw some horrible shit at you. Ah. There goes most of my fucking health. Somehow, Vivix maps are always more enjoyable with music in the background. His music choices tend to be pretty... You're not a fan of the Vivix choices? Oh, you... I wanted that fucking armor, Vivix. God damn it. Yeah, thanks. I want my armor. Let me have my armor, Vivix. There we go. You have figured out my puzzles, so you have chosen death. Mild winters favor rain over snow. I'm kind of glad that we are... Uh... ...playing on a... ...lower difficulty. <laughs> I am not very glad that I just lost two ticks to a pain sector. Thanks. Okay. But thank you, Francis. Please don't mention COVID again. We're trying to have some escapism from just uh, uh, talking about it. Appreciate your concern, but... I supposed to use this to get somewhere else, maybe. Uh, maybe I'm supposed to do that. Fuck. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind people talking about whatever most of the time, but I don't feel like hearing the words COVID for a bit. Uh -huh. 
sure people will be a lot more sensible anyway these days now that a certain person no longer is in office. Is that going to be timed? Probably not. It's doing a very good job here of keeping, um, sort of giving you a little clues where to go. Like this little window slit here is like, oh, maybe you should peek that way. You just rec you just capture the Twitch. Um, you just capture the Windows, the YouTube window in the OBS, and then just record, press play. You know, instead of game capture, you just set to capture the the monitor, and then you just put it in one of the screens. Do you have more than one screen, Francis? Floating, ooh. Floating. Yeah. only have one monitor oh man I streamed for many years with just one monitor not easy when you want to do some things isn't it uh, getting a second monitor is like oh man you can do all oh I guess we have to do it from up there or whatever <clears throat> Yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm happy for people to just go in moderation, but just tonight, I just don't feel like, you know, I don't really want, I mean, I, I, I do mention it briefly, but I'm aware that, you know, we are looking for escapism mainly here. <laughs> what the fuck so? Yeah. Well, I suppose what you would have to do then is just uh, stream again. You could just full screen your YouTube video and Doink. Little bastards. Damn. All oh, right, yeah, I don't have the. Uh... The actual, the actual real deal, cyber demon. No, no imitations. I can see what souls are annoying, but what souls are easily dealt with mostly. 
Revenants are far more annoying and do far more damage. But yes, wasp souls can be a pain sometimes, that is very true. But you can fling wasp souls backwards and keep them away. Uh, well then, you'd have to capture a select part of your screen where the YouTube video is playing. Francis, and then you'd have to see the Twitch chat. Alternatively, just get a second monitor. That might help. But ah, uh, you'd have to like, you'd have to put like your video on one side of the screen, and then your Twitch chat on the other side of the screen, and then you would record. You'd capture just a specific part of the, um, the monitor. You can actually sort of edit the capture area and OBS of what each window captures. So you can have a monitor capture, you can sort of like crop the area that you want to um, to record. So you just do that. You'd put the YouTube video on the left side of the screen, you'd crop the OBS to capture just that part and then... If I had SSG ammo here, I'm gonna kill him with the SSG to save on plasma. Demon go boom. Wait, can't I just run off the side of this to exit the level? It's an invisible wall, I think. So no, it's not gonna be that easy. There's gonna be more to it than that. Yeah. It is blocked by invisible. Ooh, BF BFG. If you got the money. If I got the money. What? Okay then. Sure. I know, I guess I did not have the money. It did seem to actually go down eventually, so is that why you have enough health to survive it or something? A secret is revealed. Oh no, microtransactions! Uh, yeah, you can just go into your own channel, Francis. Is that like a... It seems to lower after a specific amount of time. Yeah, whatever. It'll probably require me to have like 200 health and armor to survive long enough. We'll be uh, moving on, I think. It's weird that this is a secret, but it's not actually giving me anything. I found a secret that doesn't do anything, apparently. Uh, 
Now what? Oh wait, I have a yellow key. That's to be used for something. Maybe that. Oh nice, mega armor. Yay! Ah, maybe that mega armor will survive. Help me survive. Ah, we gotta go down here. Fake wall! Oh, that's it. Hmm. Seemingly, that's the egg. I wonder. With you already got further than I was expecting tonight. All right, then, Elder. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you later. Oh God, damn it! I was hoping to avoid some damage there. But yeah, this is where I wanted to be. Hey, alright! I have no fucking health left, but... I do now have a BFG. That's great. That's probably worth nearly dying for. I guess. Maybe. Oh. I can't even exit. No hugs, social distancing, Elder. I got the money. thought for a second that I would have to do like a death exit with a rocket jump but thankfully that wasn't the case yes another interestingly puzzly map with a few more tougher encounters awesome sorry I'm not supposed to take a drink of this I'm, oh whatever it doesn't matter I guess I guess I don't have to fuss over that. If people want me to hydrate, I'll hydrate anyway. If that's a... Yeah. Alright. Well, I'm going to take a quick piss, and I'll be right back, and then we'll move on to map four. So, I'll run our break back in a moment.
All right. <laughs> Change it to 10,000 points for a swig of bourbon. Uh, I can't really do that when I got work in the morning is the thing, fellas. I mean, that would be an interesting one, wouldn't it? Like, say if I have a drink of alcohol, but I can't really do that most nights. Alright, let's move on to map four. <laughs> this way, maybe we can get to map seven by the end of this. And then we can just start map seven tomorrow. We'll see. We will see. Alright, this is map four. Flower Child, a puzzle factor of three. So I guess we should expect something quirky. And the music here is Gross Town Traffic by Zanzan Zawavera. Now I think we kind of, sort of, saw part of this puzzle when I did the testing thing. Oh wow. Oh, it's only six enemies on this one. Lots and lots of these green things coming in now. So it's something to do with these barrels apparently. I think someone said during the testing it's something about the barrels. They, they don't blow up. See, they only seem to move in one direction. Okay. It's in. There we are. I got the bowel inside the thing. Yay! We solved the puzzle. The bow is the switch. <laughs> we have lots of ammo for... Oh. Oh. Oh, oh God. Are you kidding me? What? Oh, wow. More of these strange barrels. Oh, but wait a minute. Why, why is there an option for it to go... Oh, I guess that's a joke. You. Yeah, 
They also seem to have two areas to pop this in. We've not seen a single enemy yet. Hmm. Do we have to punch it across? Well, there's a red key card, which we do need. Hmm. Oh, I just realized that there's these metal things in the way. Hmm. I, I don't think I can get these metal ones. Yeah, they're the same height. They can't go past these metal things, so how am I supposed to move all these out the way anyway? Without the assistance... I need to remove these first. He thinks. Ah, right. Ah, if we go down here, there's a... Oh. There's a different puzzle. And then it turns to... Oh, right. Now this is not a pain sector. There's some weird jagged lines on the ground. You remember doing this map, but you haven't started FCFR. Oh, right. It's a way of getting around the... I have no idea, Dan. Also, hi, I have no idea. Uh, what? What? Uh... I need a red key to activate this object. Hey. Uh, 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 no. Warren! Uh, I can't get past the... Uh, uh, uh. It appears I'm going to need to have to disable the conveyor belt somehow. Maybe I should just get on with solving the puzzles. That would help. Oh, hang on. Why am I just going here? Another room. Okay. Oh, hey, there's an enemy. I need all three keys to activate that object. Oh god. Wait, how do I how do I get back out? Am I stuck here now? Oh no, let's do this. Right. So we can't do that one because that's in the way. We can't do that one because that's in the way. We can't do that one because this is in the way. The only one we can do is this one. But there's all these bowels in the way. It does, doesn't it? Oh, they have the played Sim City. It feels like something you'd have in the background of a PC game of some sort. Right, so I can get the bow in there, but I'd have to move all three of these. But You bowels are going to have to make as much room as possible. 
to get out the way. Tight, we round in. Move over there. Get in the gap. Oh, shit. Uh, not good. Oh, hang on. There's still more rooms we had here, I think. Wait, get in. There. Right. Move! Move! Get in there. Okay. Go. Hey, I punch demons. This one. No, the barrel. The barrel. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yes. Go. Go in. Go in. Go in. Yes! Oh, fucking hell. Wait. Hey, thanks for the follow, Verwamp333. Am I able to move one of these out? Or do we have to stay on top of these things? Right, can I just punch this off? Yeah, guess I can. Oh, now I have to move the fucking bowels all to the other side. Ugh. Go over there. What? Go! Get in there. Come on. Move there. Right. Go over there. Okay. Go away. Get, get. Go. Go. Move over there. Go battle. Now your turn. Punch those fucking barrels. <laughs> Just but go. Yes. Get in your thing. It's been interesting so far. The puzzles have been entertaining and I've had to use Microsoft Excel. Solve a doom puzzle. Boom. That's easy. Pow. Give me that key. Yes. One key is mine. Right. Well, uh, I guess we move on to the next puzzle. We are needing three keys. So that means this also has to be sold, I guess. 
Okay, that's a bit of a problem there. I can't get it to just go across the gap. I guess that wasn't inescapable, but I I can't get it to just fly across the gap, unfortunately. If this was brutal doom, I could just pick it up and throw it over the other side, but that would ruin the puzzle. Oh no. So can these... No, they can't move either. Like... The green barrel can go underneath these barriers. These props can't for some reason. So I can only really move them out the way, I guess. The only thing I could do is move them as out of the way as possible. Um, in between these bits. Seems pretty easy otherwise. Just fuck them in the corners as much as you can and move the bow around the other way. Yes. Right. Go down the. Yeah, go down. Go down the stairs. Good barrel. Right. Ah, no! Fuck. Okay. Okay. Yes. Go. 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 Just go through you. Stupid thing. Yes. Okay, there. Ah! Right. Aha! It's just... There I did it? Did that count? Oh yeah, it did. Nice. Uh, was that just again SSG? That isn't what I want to open. I thought it was unlock something that allows me to fling it this way. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I have to fly it over? Oh, right, I see. I gotta do it with enough force that will actually go up there. Right. It looks like the Berserk with enough... The Fist with enough rocky power will get over there too, but yeah, that's what you mean. Ah, oh, God, just... No, just... No, stop it! Right. Gently. There we go. Get over there. Go on. And done. Red key. Right, that's two. Still no enemies in the level that we've found yet. And there are all these weird shock signs. Ah, yeah, we got this, haven't we? Yay! The conveyor has stopped. Oh, whoa! Uh oh. <laughs> no! Oh, wait, what is this area? Oh, it's just a wait for.
You need all six keys to activate this object. Six keys. The Berserk Fist is enough as you prove to someone. But yeah, thanks for the follow, Lamp333. Uh, I am playing quite a lot of Doom Wad requests over the next two years. You can find this is the first of many that were requested last month. You can find a list of the rest I'll be playing uh, in the channel description. If you're curious to see what else I'm going to play in the future. Because with the exception of any exceptional releases, the monthly Ironmans and the monthly playtesting, uh, I'm not going to play a lot of other Doom ones for a bit, unless it's like an exceptional release. SSG hopping. And if you fuck up, you. Oh. Right. No. God damn it! It's not close enough. Ugh. Ugh. I need it to be as close as possible and then just. Damn it! These aren't irons to be shooting on. These are like things that stop it from moving. Okay. to go up there. I'm gonna get you in there. Yes! I can be a blockade too! Doom guy, blocker of barrels. I'm gonna guess that's a secret. Alright, we have all three keys. Now we can do the the thing. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, no, that I thought that six key thing might be optional, but it isn't. That's the next area. Your lucky number two.
Oh, there's the exit. And I need all six keys. Now it seems Flower Child is getting serious. Okay. Still, all we have to do is get it in there and we will have ourselves a final time. Okay then. These teleporters only affect the barrel it looks like. But still, we have to... Okay, it's a teleport maze. By the looks of it. What? supposed to get this out of this bit it keeps going through all these things I uh, I can't seem to get it out of this teleport loop Yeah, I teleported it there and it just... And it looks like you... The fuck? Okay.
think I sort of get what is required here. We have to get it to end up on this square here. So that it can teleport to this point. Which will then somehow free the other one. Hmm. So... Oh, wait. We, we can't do it there. So that goes to there. And the only options are down and right, which leads... So this is a dead end, basically. So we don't want to do that. That would lead to this one, which would lead to that one, which leads to that. That's a dead end. Left. Right. Ah. So, it, good. Yeah. Do that. Okay, so go to the right. Give us our dead ends. And then you will go... That one. And then you will go... No. And you will go... Then you will go... There. Hey, whoa, 69.49. So then, I guess this somehow frees the... This one? I think? Oh wait, hang on. So... Then... This one doesn't teleport with these. It teleports only with the things. Do I have to place it on top of the thing to add as a block? I'm just guessing, but maybe it blocks that teleport line from becoming active or being used correctly. Thus, this can escape. Yeah, it cancels it because it's blocking the um, whatever. I have it in the wrong position. Wait, it does fucking teleport? Yeah. Okay. I need to get this to go down there. Can it go off the grid? Oh no. The only problem is I need to get this to... I need to get this thing over there.
to block that teleport so the bow can come out and then go through this maze. I need to get this through. Yeah, to be fair to Francis, I did sort of suggest it, but I'm not gonna look at it. I'm, I got a, I got a puzzle to solve, Francis. How do I get this to go on? I need to get this. Oh God, I'm being so stupid. I don't have to do anything. I can just punch this over there. The teleport line is working for both of them. So then all I have to do is just, yeah. And that stays there and now you're free. You're now free to leave and begin your own journey through the teleport maze, which is far easier in the because most of those lead to the correct path. Yeah, it's gotta do this. There we go. Yay! Yoink! Thanks, Imp! I don't know what that looking... No, the barrels have infinite health or something. So that's that. But wait a minute, can we go back to the other door? There was two doors with six keys in them. Curiously. Think where's the other one? It's the red conveyor belt room. Yeah, it was here. This is the thing from map two. These are a teleporty thing. This is exactly the same setup as map two. Do I have to wait? Like, remember map two's codes to beat this? I can't actually access the one in the middle. I'm assuming that, ooh, excuse me. I'm assuming that, yeah, this one is different and I can't access it either. I'm assuming that the solution to this is to sell the same combinations as in map two. 
which will then lower these teleports? Because it seems to be so... I mean, I wouldn't suspect that if it wasn't for the fact that these are in exactly the same place as they were in map 2. So... Uh, the only problem with that is I then need to remember what the combinations were. And that requires a trip to map 2. To write them down. Oh, ha ha, very clever, Ribbix. Smelling faintly of roses has a puzzle then followed up with Flower Child. And I can't help notice that... Yeah, you see, it's exactly the same rune setup. So all I have, to, so I know that the solution for one of these is just. Oh, I can't access the middle one now. Yet. So it's Garby. Remember the combos for left and right first, or do I have to do it in the same order? So it's. Uh, let me make a note of this somewhere. Uh, fuck. God, I got another notepad file open. So it's squiggly G tie X for left. The top one is just free at the middle, which I can't access. And this one is squiggly T G tie L is right. Right. So is it possible to access G tie X on either side? Let's see. Actually, yes. Everything is accessible except the middle one, which we can't do anyway. We just gotta not fuck up. So, go over there, and G, ah, fucking punches, I can see why people, I can see why the punch isn't used all the time, the damage varies wildly. Yeah, so G Yeah, maybe I should do that. Make it tie X. Oh, it didn't, it didn't lower. G. Oh, fuck. No, nope. get out of there. Okay. G. Ty. Squiggly line. There. That's both the sides. Uh, on second thoughts, maybe it's not that. Okay, it's not what I thought then. It has something to do with the fact that this one can't be accessed. Which has no meaning to me whatsoever. I think you just have to get the bow to where the red shit is. 
Oh, maybe the bow can cross over the invisible line. Ugh, fine. Do it as intended. Shoot. Okay, on you go. No, that didn't seem to do it either. Okay, this awaits to the lucky number. You have to guide the bow over the squares to the red square. The patterns correspond to the pattern associated with your lucky number. This is an optional puzzle, right? Yeah, okay, but I have no idea what two corresponds to. Two, two... You know, I have a better idea. How about we just skip this puzzle and move on? I feel like I'm perhaps missing something with that one, because two and that have no, have no meaning to me. So maybe it's something that you have to get from level two. Ah. That would make sense. Well, unfortunately, all, this, all the uh, secrets requires... Oh, he said that a good chunk of them requires speedrunning tricks. So... We move on. So I can't do any of them. Oh, well. We shall move on to... Yeah, it's fine. It's nice that it's there, though, for those who can speedrun. Gives a bit of replay value, I guess. But I'm happy just to leave. So we didn't actually kill anything on this level. We chose the path of non-violence. As such. Oh, I guess now with the lamp free, free freeze fall, we're now 113 followers away from Sunder. Yep, that. I'll be honest, this is the third CAC Award 2020 winner I see and think of. This one at CAC Awards? I don't remember that. But I guess it did. Hey, Wookiee. Yeah, we're on map four. It has been an enjoyable puzzle set so far. Well, I was I know a ghost. Oh no, you know a ghost, do you? Yee. Only six enemies on this one as well. Hmm. Right, well, the music here is Nico by Garrett Thompson, and this has a puzzle rating of two stars. So, not as puzzle tastic as the. Boy, I'm doing pretty well. I mean, <laughs> maybe I can get to map six, even seven by the end of the stream? And we can just do the big one. And we will see. There's no rush. Yeah, we're back in the city. We've got a nice skybox again. I am. Yeah, I, I will believe it. Map 7 is the experience that everyone is here for. I don't believe it'll be bad. I'm not on this difficulty anyway. It will just be an experience quite a journey. Again, really nice use of the cityscape. Generally just nice use of textures to create themes and stuff in general, honestly. Oh, 
always seems to be the style of uh, Ribbix wads to always have a very nice reset. Uh oh. It looks like we've already encountered a puzzle. Yoinks! Oh man. We have puzzle. Okay, secret mega spear, cool. Don't need it, I have no lost health yet. Minus 18 degrees. Oh wow, really? I know there's a I know the beast from the east too is currently sweeping over Europe. It seems to uh for the mind time being anyway, it seems to have missed the UK. Well my part of it anyway, but it's gonna hit the east pretty hard. I, I know it's going to get cold for the next few days, so I guess we're not immune. <laughs> oh my lord, look at this room. Ah, oh, wow. How cool does this room work? Yeah, there's only six enemies. I'll take the berserk in case we need it for something. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Oh, he even changed the skybox so it has the red sort of effect on the ceiling. That's pretty cool. Damn. Oh, I need a red key to activate this object. This is just for the red key, it would seem. And blue key, and just probably a yellow. This almost feels like it's something that would belong in Brow House Ward. You know, the one that was very artsy. This is like the lost exhibit or something. Oh wait, there's a rev. Right. Now why am I suspicious that, why is it just one rev here? I'm. I will just kill this rev, but something tells me this rev's serving a purpose, other than just being cannon fodder. Because it's FCFF and not a typical experience. Yeah, I, yeah, you're right. But this this entire room looks like it would have belonged nicely in the ward. Now I would say that, but. Um, there doesn't seem to be anything that the Rev can do. And I'm gonna leave it for now. We might, it might be like some weird shit we gotta get to step on a pad or something. Oh, maybe it's just there just to be a punch bag. I don't know. Cycle bin? This is actually the favorite map of the set for you. Hmm. Why? You're not, you're not a fan of this Saint Anonymous? Hmm. Well, there's the blue card. I guess we got... Ooh. Okay, then. Green does that. Red does that. We have no idea what this is doing. Hmm. Saint Pepsi.
I never played this one. No, it, it appears that when you raise one, the other two lower. So you have to make sure that it's out, that's out the way. Hmm. So technically I can skip that one. Isn't it just green? Awful map design. And then green? I don't know if that's right. Oh, there we go. Oh, hey, there we go. Got it. Jeez, all the technical boom stuff you have to do to get that running. God damn. No, this was made by Vivix. Back out here again. Don't take away my fame like that, John. Rookie Edie, please. Vivix has an account on Twitch. You can't pretend to be Vivix. You just have to be known as that guy who uh, wolves hard maps and stuff. Right, so. Is that. Uh, what? No, that can't be it. There was something else as well, wasn't there? There wasn't just that thing that opened up. Wasn't there another building or something that opened with the blue? <laughs> he just wrote his name over the cackle word. Yeah, that's the red. Oh, here we go. This is what it opened. I, th I thought there was a... Oh, no! Another one! Oh! Not again! Another fucking one of these! And oh god, there's multiple steps! Oh. That being said, though, this is. This is very simple stuff. I shouldn't really be bold about this. I just need to. Oh, okay, but there's one problem, though. Um. Where the fuck is a starting point or anything of this? Everything needs to go down. So I can get up to something. Okay, the goal is to get to this block here with the red key on it. Ah, right, we start here. Right. Red needs to be raised. We need to get over to this platform. I think. Maybe that one. Uh, yeah, it's kind of doable. But. Now red and green are too high, so... Ooh, we're getting there. Maybe raise up the, this one. <sighs> I need it to go down. I need one to go down. When you have raps that require rocking, jumping in Doom, but a perspective. <laughs> it should get a ward just to troll people into playing it. Run a ward, open that one, close it, close the ward and hide. Oh, God. What do you mean this one isn't as bad? There's way more to consider. My head hurts just trying to figure out what. Look to see. Well, why don't you request it then? You had an entire month to request stuff. 
Oh, if you only thought of it now, I guess. I'm just saying. I mean, if you only thought of it now, fair enough, but... There has been an entire month where people could have requested things. You're probably right, for Shuck. <laughs> I'd have to approve it, and I'm guessing it's one of those only for the those people who like to, you know, the masochist club. Oh god, I don't even know what to fucking do with this now. I need the fucking eh. Red needs to open, and everything else lowers. So then it's all, it's all fucking wrong, 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 wrong. Back to reset. Yeah, that, that I, I'll definitely pass then. Uh. Ha <laughs> No. An exceptional release does not consider Frog and Toad. I'm talking about stuff that is re I'm talking about Back to Saiyan X Episode 3. Elementalism. The next Skill Saw project. Protonia 3. Or Protonia 3 Community Edition, because Protonia 3 is still a thing, honest guys, so we made a spin-off project already. I mean, they, they announced a PRCP2, while Protonia 3 is still a thing, apparently. Now, to be fair, I actually haven't played PRCP. I could have done, a long, long time ago, when Joe Ilya requested it, but Joe Ilya changed his request from it to Protonia 2, I think. And apparently PRCP is the inferior of the two Protonia follow-ups. But I've not actually played it. I don't have a fucking clue for this one. I need to lower red initially to get up to this platform. I mean, once I get to certain points, I can sort of manipulate as I go, really. I guess, but... Ugh. I don't think we're getting any... I think this is going to be the last map of the night. I think. And it might be just this puzzle for the rest of it. At least I'd have the final key, then. Right? Right, I need to lower green first. Then I need to raise red. I can get up there. Damn it, I need to get green down. Oh, hold on. Oh, oh. Oh, fuck. Oh, I got so far up. Oh. Oh, there's multiple separate platformy things. I only took you half an hour because you were lucky with guessing. Jesus. I... Now I've bought whatever I did earlier, now I can't get back up the same way. Ugh. Oh. Well, that's fucking wrong. To be honest with you, I don't think I'm going to ever get this one, because there's just too many parts to think about. This feels like I am just going to be guessing a bit. Green to get the red down to the correct position. Red to get that down. So if I had to keep going back and forth, back and forth, I'm probably just going to stumble into the solution by accident or something. Uh, we'll have to see, Wookie Edie. I might be able to get by it with some luck. 
maybe. Hmm. It feels like the key here is to get to one of the upper platforms so you can see, create a path quicker. So maybe I should just focus to getting to one of them. Somehow. Maybe that's the real solution, right? Don't focus on trying to get through all of it. Just focus on creating a path up. Then I can mess around with manipulation afterwards. Oh, you fucking what? All three are required. All right, then. See you later, I push the end. Don't go on. Console. Why? Uh, fly. Grab. Thing. There we go. <laughs> Grab thing. Yes. Okay, we can't do that. Hey, Derek. This is what you get for sweeping in. Yes, I am playing it in GZ Doom, but don't worry, I have the compatibility settings correct. So everything is fine. And we're on map five. So you're telling me I'm gonna have to go to all three platforms to get to the red. That actually feels like you could just brute force this if you just Alright, I need to I need to get up to that platform then. I guess that's the first thing to do. So to do that, I'm gonna need what? Some raising of the this one? Or something? Create a nice little path that goes up. Maybe one on red. When you reload your save, the platforms are off from the previous section. You need to hit the reset switch. But how the fuck do I get that to be raised up? It's almost like I gotta jack it up real high first. And then, like, press the other two a bit. And then everything lowers down into... And then everything lowers down and I can't get anywhere suddenly. Wow, these things really go lower. Okay. There we go. I've reset the puzzle. Okay, it's not that simple. Stuff people do with boom. So yeah, you want the three people who requested this, Derek. Only map seven, mind, but still. Oh fuck! What the hell do I do here? Right. So maybe it's just parts. I need to get. So I do that, then I need to do red. Yeah, I'm kind of glad to be experienced this, I guess. Oh. Oh, oh, no. There we go. First step done. Right. So that's the solution. Now we have to go over to another one. But which one? There's one over here and there's one over there. Hmm. I'm going to guess that this one over here, since it's the closest to the switch, is probably... Yeah, it is. It's the heights. The heights make this thing. It, it kind of guides the way, if you will. So I have to now make my way over to the one on the opposite side. By... Going around with the switches again to create another pathway or something. Oh, 
Oh, ho, ho. Oh, okay. Now it starts to come together. By treating it as one giant puzzle, it was very confusing. By breaking it into parts, suddenly it becomes a little less so. Hmm. So green needs to... Wait a minute, we... Oh, no, we can't do that. Because it's not high enough. I was going to say we could... Nah, it's not going to work like that. Hmm. This bloody red one is so in the way. But I'm guessing that we have to, like, still get it through or whatever. No, that doesn't feel right either. It feels like the correct solution would only require a few presses to see it, or whatever. Okay, so that's doable. I don't know if this is the right solution, though. And I still have the problem if I need to get up. T I don't know if this is right or not. Eh, I don't know. feel right.
I hope this is right. Oh, I don't want to have got, got to the beginning of the puzzle. Looks like if red was just swallowed by one. Well, the problem is, when red wells by one, everything else doesn't lower and it starts to suck immediately. Because the other two bloody lower kills the root. Now again, I can get to this... Fuck off. Again, I can get to this point with two presses, but then I can't get to the final one. feeling that big red tall one is a uh, like a red herring. It's all about just getting even one of these green, riding a platform on this green. Oh god, coding this puzzle would have taken ages. I don't know how you'd even do it. And keep in mind, Vivix would then have to test this every single time he tweaked the boom wine sector or something. But then, given Ribix's experience, he probably can do the technical stuff a lot easier than most people. Fucking nerd. Nerd! Oh, God. But, okay, so okay, he said, I do have to go to that platform. So... Ugh, jeez. So, I can't just skip the third platform. I hope I'm on the right platform. I must be on the right platform now. I need to get to the third platform. I feel I was right though. Press red, press that to create the path. Path takes you over there. Do a run off that. Unless it's white. Why would I do red then green? Does that create a different path? No, red then green doesn't create anything useful. Only red then brick creates this path which I can then use to fuck off. Yeah, so I can get to this point with two presses, which feels like it might be the solution. Like go around the big red one, but then I need to create a path that gets me up there. So it'd be like, green raise it up and off. Green raise it up again. Green raise it up again. Oh, wait a minute. Oh no, it's not quite right. Ugh. I don't think... No, 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 that doesn't... Yes, we know we're all nerds, that's the, that's, that's the joke. Oh, God. So I can make that jump with a big run. Is this right? Or am I doing this wrong? Wait, am I not supposed to be here yet with the two switches? Am I in the right spot, the right point in the actual solution? Or is this wrong? I can't tell. Also, I was meant to be like Ford Whites or something over there. Whatever they are, nice. Um. Hmm. I feel like I'm on the right lines in Warring Green a bit, but it only goes so far. 
Right, it looks like there's a setup here with green to red. That seems the right height for it, but I can't get over there. Oh, oh hang on. No, I can't get over there, though. That's the only caveat. I cannot get... Also, I somehow took damage there. What? Oh, these pools pain sectors, I guess. Whatever. Yeah, so... That... That... Leads to... Getting over here. And then... Maybe if I try opening with that instead, then go for green and green. And that's wrong. From the last switches, you just work backwards from the red key. No, I just want to know if this part is correct. Like, getting to this platform with this run route thing. So then I can make a... So I just work backwards. Uh, you know what? I'm making a backup save in case it proves to be wrong. Right. So it worked. Yeah. It appears that I'd have to raise up green a bit to get to it. Whatever the outcome. The outcome is I need to wall a red up to a point. So that seems to be the perfect height, but I can't then get over there. Like, two there, and then there's no way, unless I do another, another manipulation, but... God. Ah, so close. Oh, God, I have to go back to the, I have to go back to the previous three just to set this up again. I can't get to either of the further three now. I can still get to here though. For the moment, but the third green one allows me to do that. That's not set up right anymore now though. Now you can only use it only using each set such as once.
you. Oh god, it's so close. Ugh. 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 Hey! But I cheated. Who jumped? This is good to test my patience. It feels like we're close, right? We're just one height off or something with the things or something like that. Right, I need to get the green to go up or whatever. Green needs to be high. But I also have to be able to get over there. Like that red height is perfect, but I can't get over there to to do it. Again, that might be the right height, but I can't get to it. It feels like the first right thing to do is to press green twice. Which then gets you over there. Oh wait, I don't think I can right over to that. Is it too high? No, this doesn't feel right either. It feels like the only right move to do is press green twice and then... Uh, at least that gets you part of the way there. Pressing it three times... Right, I'm just going to check something. Right, so that would allow me... To, so if it's set like that, I can actually get to it. By pressing it three times, it is now in a position where I can get to it. But I can't get onto the platform that allows me to get to it. But that was the solution that allows me to grab it. So how the fuck do I get to that area? With the things perfectly aligned at the two heights required. Uh, but... Mm. 
damn it, it's just one height off. One. That I could just get over there. If I do it with the other things, it's too low, and now the opportunity is gone. I don't know if it gives something to do with the bricks, though. Pressing it once lowers the... I must say, gotta use a different path. To get over there. No, doesn't seem to do it. Oh god, it's getting to 10 o'clock and I'm going to get fed up now. I don't even know. We are close to the solution, but oh, fuck me. Nobody saw it. Nobody saw me jump. One, two, three. Four? No, four means it's too fucking high and I can't get to it at all anyway. So that's not right either. One, two, three. It's now set. Fuck no! You, you see, this is what I'm talking about. It's like, I'm so... I just want to know... So basically, thank you, Derek, for telling me that I'm wrong and I should have to redo the whole fucking puzzle again. Ugh. Exactly blur. These are the puzzles I hate where you, you spend 20 minutes thinking you're so close and it's like, no, it's wrong. I want to be told I'm wrong, but what soon? How about... No, thank you. We're skipping this one. I'm going to be honest, I think we will just skip this one. Sorry, Vivix, if I want a puzzle... Again, this is this is too puzzly for me for Doom. I just want a puzzle where the solution and steps to it are clearly marked when you fucked up. I was so close to the solution, but unfortunately, if it's a case that I could spend 20 minutes thinking I'm close, but actually, nah, you fuck. No, nah, we're, we're skipping that one. Hard skip. Sorry, Vivix. But. It's really cool that you designed the puzzle like that, and it's great, but. Uh, ain't gonna do it for me. Also, also Nino says I have to calm down. Alright. Oh. What? Ah, uh, oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, uh. What? Okay, things are getting a little freaky. It's gonna all bloody you suddenly and weird. And we didn't kill anything again. <laughs> no, I don't think I, I I commend the fact that he created the puzzle, but uh, again, it falls into that category of puzzles that I hate, which is again, I you know it's. It's just, it's just awkward because, again, I, I literally spent 20 minutes thinking I... 15, 20 minutes, whatever it was, thinking I was so close to solutions. There's no way of really... I guess upset, I'm upset for the fact that you can't actually do it, but... Ugh. 
No, it's it's not a puzzle I can enjoy. You know. First you know a ghost, and later you become one. <laughs> well, something happened after that map. That door we fell down. We started getting all weird and trippy. I mean, there have been so lot of fun puzzles in this uh, ward. Just that wasn't one of them. Ooh, now things are getting decidedly so. But, unfortunately, this is where I stop. For I do have work in the morning. So, we'll save map 6 and 7 for next time. You'll want a pistol start 6 and 7. You serious? I need to pistol start six and seven? Fuck work. Uh, I can't really do that, Scotty, because I need I need something called money, and I can't really do that. All oh, right, they're bounced around a pistol start. Okay, then. Well, we can do that, sure. Goodbye health and armor, I guess, and all the cool shit I earned in the previous five maps. But you've played it, so I'll take your word that it is designed around pistol starts. No problem. Uh, yeah, I feel kind of... Nah, I don't feel kind of bad, actually. I, I tried the puzzle. You know, it, it, it's different if it's a combat scenario. But a puzzle is... Uh, I tried it. And, I, and to be fair, I've solved all the other puzzles. So, um... Definitely an interesting one so far. I was expecting the puzzles to be a lot more frustrating. And they, they actually aren't. With the exception of that last one. But I, I really like that Vivix has done all this stuff with the Boom Engine. It, it's kind of cool to see Doom Engine being used for puzzles like that. You know, it's... Uh, again, and my experience of playing Doom maps, doing puzzles of any kind in Doom is usually... not a good idea. <laughs> for, um... To make it too complicated, I and it's nice to see that aside from Dobu, there is someone else who can create interesting maps about puzzles using boom trickery. Very, very different experience from anything other than perhaps a Dobu map. So. Good stuff, yeah, I am enjoying it. I do like it when people try to do different things with the Doom engine. Even if I don't enjoy it personally, it's always nice to see that creativity in action. You know, people saying, ah, we don't have to make Doom entirely about the shooting. We can create cool little unexpected surprises. And what makes it work so well is the fact that with the exception of that, I mean, the, the last puzzle was self-explanatory. It was just really annoying and awkward. It was the fact that the puzzles didn't... You you could figure out what you need to do. It's not like it's a cryptic, where's the switch hunt? Or which obscure wedge can I follow to progress in the level? It's like, the puzzle is here. I will give you the pieces, and you need to figure out what to do. And it's, it, it, that, it's almost like that satisfaction you get in a puzzle game where you figure out the puzzle and what you need to do and then it comes together and you know what is required and I think that's the major part of what makes a lot of puzzle maps in Doom don't work so well you know you, they don't give the player the pieces or explain the puzzle very well and it is a, it, it is a jarring shift to go from the fast action of Doom to a puzzle you know, it would be the same in a puzzle game 
And it probably is the same in any puzzle game that does this. If like you were playing a sort of very slow paced puzzle game and some is an FPS section where you have to play really quickly and use your uh, WASD skills instead of your brain, your the, uh, the, the puzzle thinking side of it. So kind of like this. And it helps also that Rilix is really good at making maps that look nice and play well and there's the usual sword of shenanigans, but it's two difficulties lower, so it's fun. <laughs> and now I can see why three of you picked this. For sure. And I'm looking forward to map seven. The one that you all wanted me to see, particularly. This is what maps one to five are like. I can't wait to see what map seven is. I expect it to be a very quirky and interesting ending. So I hope you all enjoyed the stream tonight. I'm not playing on an ultra violence. You, you and Turner K suggested hey not too rough, and we will stick to that. And I'm aware of it. Um, apparently, hey not too rough reduces some of the things on the final map to some extent, but. I think it changes something, but I that's what you suggested, and honestly, I'm not going to play, but I could have more cool puzzles. Yes, but I, I probably would also have ultra violence difficulty slaughter, which in a Rivix map is something I am not prepared to do anymore without some practice. And I'd imagine that... Map 7 is still good on Hey Not Too Rough anyway. So, you know. That's your war. You died for mode age. Right, the best odds trying to do them legit were 1 in 8. Yeah, I don't really want to do fights like that where I have to, like, legitimately ran my I, I've spent a few I've spent a few years doing that and it ends in frustration and me just getting upset. I'd rather not do that. Well, no. If the puzzles require me to play ultra violence difficulty lyrics, then it's not happening, Derek. Just be glad I'm playing this at all. <laughs> so fun stuff. I will continue this tomorrow night. I'm looking forward to seeing the last two maps, which are going to be more slaughtery, so there will be some more fighting. I missed the puzzles. And, yeah. So, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. And now we need to find someone to raid. All 32 of us. Who to raid? Ooh. Let's see what other people are playing. There is a dime string. I want to see who else there is and what they're playing. Uh, oh. Multi Terminus is ending their stream, judging by what I can see. Punch Demons is doing some Gran Turismo. Wood Sergeant is probably just about to finish off Greenwood. Which I assume is the demo. Greenwood isn't out, is it? Um Who do we have here? We have someone called Ziplet. Casual playthrough of Doom 2. Oh, that seems interesting. Maybe we'll give them a try. We will raid this channel who's playing Doom 2 casually. So thank you all for watching. There will be more um, of this tomorrow.